You hitting on the guy at Chick Fil A? No, I just the think hell, people babe. with. I will fight him right now. <laughs> Cook Residence. It's a big box. We actually used it for a little skit yesterday. Skit might turn out really, really dumb, but it also might turn out cool. What I'm gonna be showing you guys today is what I eat in a day, quarantine style, for lean muscle building. Ooh, ab shot in the morning, but you guys have never seen that on my channel. Kind of cheesy, I know, but it's important because we're gonna be talking about basic nutrition and how I eat to maintain a lean physique, but also gain muscle. So that's kind of been the goal the last, I'd say three months, is slowly put on a little bit more muscle. I have hit the scale at 220. It's not all good weight by any means, but I've hit the scale at 220. And in doing so, I've had to eat more to get there. So I'm gonna show you guys what I eat for every single meal today with macronutrients. Let's go. All right, meal number one. First thing I eat, oats. I eat two packets. Each packet contains two grams of fat, so I'm gonna have four grams of fat from the two packets, 36 carbohydrates from the two packs, and eight grams of protein. I mix it in a big old bowl because you need to microwave it, and we all know what happens if you don't have a big enough bowl and it spills over, and you just start your day off in a really bad place. So make sure you have a big enough bowl. So before I get into the rest of my breakfast, my girlfriend the other day asked if do you have different girlfriends on different days? No. Mm. Asked if I could help her count calories, macros? Yeah, I'm gonna count calories. Are you more interested in counting calories or macros? Now, I will say, if you calculate macros, you can calculate calories, but you can't do it the other way around. If you calculate calories, you can't break it down from there. You have to know your macros. I guess I just wanna know how to count things, like count it all out. Count it all out. Yeah, okay. but I don't know how many calories like I should eat a day because we both know I eat a lot. That pretty much is the question every single person asks. So let's jump in there right now. Really it explains to you guys what you need. Basal metabolic rate and then how much activity you do. There really are some good calculators online but pretty much babe it's gonna be trial and error. So I would say calculate your macros, stick with that, see if you lose or gain weight if you once you follow that for a week. I don't necessarily want to lose or gain weight. You just want to maintain. I just want to be able. To, I just want to be able to know how to do it if I wanted to. Hey Hobbs, you need to learn how to calculate macros too, bud. He only gets two scoops of bickies a day. Yeah, well he's looking thick. He's got some junk in the trunk. <laughs> oatmeal is done. If you guys don't like cooking oatmeal in a microwave, I understand. Microwaves to some people are the devil. You can also cook it on the stove. This is unflavored oatmeal. Morgan likes to do the maple one. I just go unflavored and then what I do, boom. I'm gonna add half a banana. I'm gonna weigh it out so I know exactly how many grams. Now, here's the thing about weighing things out. You can get a little bit OCD. I have to hold up this with my head. You don't always have to weigh things out. You just need to get a good estimation. I would say that this is a medium-sized banana. I can go into my, my fitness pal where I track my calories, which is something I would suggest you guys download. I'm um, just a good calorie tracker. I think my fitness pal probably is, has the most robust database system. And then I would also get yourself a food scale. Now people see the food scale and they automatically freak out, but the only surefire way to know exactly how much you're eating is a food scale. Now, I don't suggest using this forever. I suggest learning this, using this tool, this instrument as a way to really figure it out. Do it for a month, two weeks, whatever. And then you're gonna be able to eyeball things. Basically, I eat my oatmeal, banana or strawberries if it's gonna be a lighter carb day. And I know how to manipulate my macros from there. Crazy how much less carbs strawberries have the bananas so i know it's in my bowl of oats i'm now going to cut up this banana in half and weigh it out i'm guessing in this half a banana once i weigh it out 48 grams we'll see how accurate i am i'm going to show you guys just so there's no oh steve you weighed it beforehand nope Opening it up, cutting it. Let's say, ooh, it's a little bit light. I'm gonna say 46 grams. Oh, 51. Again, the difference between 46 grams of a banana and 51 grams of a banana is probably one carbohydrate. Not a whole lot. I would then take that 51 grams of banana, search in my fitness pal, banana, raw, and then when I do the measurement, grams, enter in 51. And for the last part of the oatmeal, I use almond milk for a half cup. It's gonna be 1.5 grams fat, 0.5 carbohydrates, and 0.5 grams protein. Also, that comes out to a whopping 17 calories. 
So not a whole lot. Gonna put that in the oatmeal and then my stevia. Zero calorie, that's gonna complete my oatmeal. The stevia gives it some taste. Like I said, zero calories. Almond milk gives it a little bit of moisture because you, you always want you know some milk in there. I don't really drink dairy milk and that's my oatmeal for the morning. For my second part of breakfast, I'm gonna be making some eggs. I use a little bit of coconut oil spray. For my egg-tastic breakfast, if I'm trying to gain weight, I always have two eggs in the morning. Or not always, when I have eggs, it's usually two whole eggs. Because I'm really just doing more of a maintenance now before I start a cut. I'm just gonna be doing one egg for the moment. That's only because the fat content. I'm trying to stay under 80 grams of fat and I also like to eat avocado with my eggs. So you have to kind of know what macronutrients are in different foods. That way you can know, okay, I need to be more careful with my avocado and my eggs because my fat content is a little bit lower. And the other thing that I do is obviously egg whites. So just the egg whites. You can sit here and crack egg white after egg white and make sure that the yolk doesn't get in there. Do they have these in Australia? Mm -mm. Not that I've seen anyway. They may have them. They're gonna be different to get some before I move over there. Well, I'm sure they do have them, I just haven't looked. So I basically do about four servings. Four servings equals eight egg whites in there. So take that, it's about 20 grams of protein then. Would you ever drink that? I have, I add it sometimes to, to protein shakes because I like the texture of it rather than just yeah. adding more milk, I'll add egg whites. Started out on medium heat. Now, my secret ingredient, yes, I use salt, yes, I use pepper, but if you've ever had this before, you know this stuff is great. Everything but the bagel, sesame seasoning blend. <laughs> this goes on towards the end. I put the salt and pepper in as I go. I like my eggs over medium. Um, little Morgan here does not like her eggs over medium, but I prefer a poached egg. If I could have my eggs done any way, anyhow, poached eggs in Australia over some sourdough toast and avocado with a little bit of lemon and a little bit of paprika, that is, ah. Uh, I puppy. I've already said that on here a million times. So. Since I don't have this awesome sourdough, I choose this macro-friendly Dave's Killer Bread. Now, I've also used Ezekiel Bread in the past. I like both. Dave's Killer Bread has great macros. For one slice, literally, one slice has one gram of fat, 13 grams carbohydrate. I don't think there's too many slices of bread out there that are going to have less than 13 grams carbohydrate. I'm sure there's one, but I don't know what it is. And then protein, three grams. So, I'm going to put my eggs on this. I put a quarter of an avocado on there. That quarter of avocado is gonna come out to roughly 28 grams. I'll weigh it when I get ready to toast my bread and put it over the toast. Probably use a little bit of Vegemite too because I'm a true blue Aussie. Vegemite pretty much is just a vinegar yeast based thing so it doesn't have any calories. It just gives you a lot of flavor. A lot of flavor. Flavor is generally a good thing. It gives you a little zing, a zing. It is, it's a rich flavor. <laughs> it is. Now the key is you can't toast your bread too early otherwise it's just sitting there. That is basically what I'm gonna be eating with my eggs and we'll tally up all all of the protein, carbs, and fats. I've zeroed out the plate and the piece of toast, so it's only going to be weighing this avocado. And again, you can just eyeball that. That's 27 grams. Oh, wait, hold on. We're not done yet. 23, 25, oh, I'm off by two grams. That's gonna be at least point three grams of fat. So honestly, you can get so OCD with weighing out your food. Again, I don't weigh out my food every day. I'm doing this to show you guys, but I know kind of the base of what I eat every day and with the macronutrients on it. And after that, it becomes super easy. Smash up that avocado. I forgot to do the Vegemite. I was just about to say that. I know, I forgot. And then boom, the egg right on top, a little everything but the bagel seasoning, and then bada boom, bada bang, hot sauce. That's breakfast right there. Well, it is lunchtime in good old St. George, Utah. Restaurants are closed, but drive throughs are still very alive and well. So we're out here supporting local businesses, still keeping up some social distance because it's just the drive through But this Chick-fil-A drive through is ab absolutely nuts every single day. Chick-fil-A, like in another lifetime, I wanna own a Chick-fil-A. I realize you could only own one, actually looked into it back in the day. You could only own one and you have to be super involved, but they just got great food, a great family atmosphere, and pretty macro friendly. So we're in line. I'm gonna show you guys how I do Chick-fil-A very healthy. Spoiler alert, there is no fried food in this. But there's fried food for Morgan. You getting fried? Yeah, I got a tippy. There's two lines coming in, and it's like, you go, I go, you go, I go, even though our line was longer. What? <laughs> you just sound like a kid. Even though our line I'm just saying. Line, we I'm should be just, going two for yes, one Yes, we of really one should. One. These people over here are kind of cutting. My turn. My turn. 
these Chick-fil-A people just work hard out here in the sun, taking orders, saying it's my pleasure. So if you guys aren't American, Chick-fil-A, probably my favorite fast food joint. I would say Chick-fil-A and In-N-Out and then Teriyaki Grill, but they're not everywhere. Um, are my favorites just because Chick-fil-A they're just consistent the only bad Chick-fil-A I've ever had was in Alabama which is weird because I think it started in Georgia or Alabama I think it was Georgia you're gonna see like they just do grilled chicken really really well highly recommend if you're a foreigner going to Chick-fil-A but you need Chick-fil-A sauce this one here oh, I love Chick-fil-A sauce she didn't like Chick-fil-A until she had Chick-fil-A sauce. It's so good. It's true. I had a burger in Santa Fe ages ago, oh, and I just didn't think it was that great. I was like, yeah, Chick-fil-A's average. And then I had the sauce when I was here not long ago, and I was like, I'm addicted. <laughs> like I'm addicted. To that ass. If you guys didn't see that video, go watch it. It was pretty funny. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe below. What's up, Steve? How are you? Good. What can we get for you? Um... We do a grilled chicken sandwich. Yes, sir. No yeah. tomatoes for her. Perfect. Another one for me. Tomatoes are fine. Yes, sir. A grilled eight-count nugget. You want fries? Yeah. Fries for her. And then... Some let's sauce. Do, oh, yeah. Chick-fil-A sauce. Are we going to swig, too? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, never mind. That. <laughs> and then... Uh, can I do the kale thing? Yes, sir. Large or small? Just go small. Gotta get your greens, people. Gotta get your greens. <laughs> We're doing a YouTube video all about macros, and Chick-fil-A has very <laughs> macros. We got so. those macros. <laughs> Anything else today? That'll be good. Appreciate it. Thank you. I like that guy. He was cool. He had a really nice smile. You hitting on the guy at Chick Fil A? No, I just the think hell, people babe. with. I will fight him right now, and it'll be your fault. I just think people with nice smiles make me want to smile. Hey, don't worry about it. I got lunch. It's just like a, a warm feeling, you know, when you get that from people. No, you got lunch today, cause it's my day. No, it's not your day, but you owe me PayPal Venmo stuff. I do owe him PayPal. He <laughs> literally paid for like $250 worth of my products. And what, then what products were those? Face products. I actually used the sunscreen, uh, tinted sunscreen. Don't make fun of me. There's nothing weird about doing tinted sunscreen, Sunted tint screen. Did you like how I ordered the kale because we're doing this for YouTube? Wait, you got kale? <clears throat> I got the little kale salad as my side instead of french fries today. Oh, cute. Because instead of bulking, I'm... No, he usually doesn't get any sides and then he'll nick literally like one of my fries. We Just all one. know macros only count if you purchase them. But if it's your fries, then I don't have to worry about those macros. Well, you do. You literally only have one, so that's fine. I usually do. I usually put it on my sandwich. Fries, yeah, just one fry. Tell, tell just people one waffle fries fry. On a Chick-fil-A burger is so good. And here's another thing. Do you guys say Chick-fil-A sandwich? Is it a chicken sandwich? For some reason, Morgan says chicken burger. And Every, actually, everyone it in Australia sense. says chicken burger. It would make sense. It's still you get a, a you get a like a beef burger, chicken burger. They're all burgers though because they're between two buns. Like it's a bun. It's I a think patty. That makes sense. If it was sliced chicken, like deli, it'd yeah. be a sandwich. Yeah, definitely. And it is on a bun. So anyhow. Bun, right. huh? Okay. Thank you. Cheers. No fries. Ah, you're right. Can I see what's on that real fast? Can you just show me? No, like take the top no, off. I, no, I can't. Maybe, maybe just take off your top. No, you're not going to. Mm -mm, I'm not taking my top off. Just, oh, just pull the top back a little bit. Oh my goodness, I'm so jealous of that. But gotta get lean. Maybe I should go get my body fat tested in the bod pod. You know what? I'm gonna do that this week as well. Cause you can't know where you're going if you don't know where you started. You enjoying that? Mhm. Mm That's how Morgan Chick Fil A's. <laughs> I can't lie. I rarely, like maybe twice in my life, out of the 250 times I've eaten at Chick-fil-A, gotten the kale salad. It comes with almonds, but I'm leaving the almonds off. I mean, it's kale, but it's full of antioxidants and good micronutrients, so I'm just gonna eat it, suck it up. Left the fries for Morgan. I'm doing this for my health. Also, I just wanna say, I was given a $100 Chick-fil-A card by the Biggest Loser people. I thought it was gonna last me like three months. It lasted me two weeks. It was the saddest thing ever. That just shows how much money you spend on Chick-fil-A. Oh, look how cute you are with the sauce on your lips. Oh. She's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that face before. Is it really that bad? That's it. I'm done with this. I can't eat this. Never again will I order that. I order it once a year, and I forget why. I don't order it again, just to be reminded. Now, it's time to go to the gym. 
which means pre-workout shake. It's gonna consist of more oats, more bananas, a little bit of peanut butter powder. And today I'm just using some vegan protein that we have had in the house since Alec was here and I'm gonna use it up. So if I do a whey protein, it's usually like a hydrolyzed whey. So it's very fine powder, doesn't upset my stomach. Every now and then I'll do a vegan protein as well. So basically I'll show you guys how much I use of almond milk. I'll use even a little bit of egg whites, vegan protein powder, the oats, etc., and make this delicious delicious shake. First up, two packets of oats. It's gonna be 36 grams of protein. I love oats in a shake. Obviously they're not cooked. They're just raw oats in there. The vegan protein powder. One scoop is three grams fat, so that's a little bit high for a protein shake in my opinion. Six grams carbohydrate, which is also a little bit high, and 30 grams protein. We're gonna go one heaping spoonful of this. Not my favorite protein in the world, but it'll do for today. And then we're gonna go a half of banana. This is the other half of the banana that I had this morning for breakfast. I'm assuming it's just about the same, 51, 52 grams. This one's 54 grams. Easy peasy. My favorite ingredient, the chocolate PB Fit stuff. So I'm gonna put in two tablespoons, which is only two grams of fat. Because it's this powdered stuff, there's eight carbs, five grams of protein for two tablespoons, 70 calories for that tablespoon. And this is something I'll, I'll drop out if I really wanna get lean, lean. But really right now, this is just starting my lean diet, which is basically, I'm starting to count things a little bit more strict. I have a set number of macros I'm trying to hit, kind of see where I'm at. And typically, I'll lean out a little bit and then I'll have to drop accordingly. Two tablespoons of the PB Fit, eight ounces or one cup of almond milk, two serving size, 10 grams of protein from my egg whites. And that'll be about a half cup. 92 grams to be exact a half cup. I'm just gonna add some water to it, some ice, and then throw it on the blender, blend it up, beautiful shake. Got the ice in there, blends it up perfect. And there you have it. That is one delicious protein shake in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Could be better with different protein, I'm not gonna lie. But that's as good as it's gonna get with that protein powder. That PB Fit goes a long way. And that banana, mm mm mm. We gonna go to the gym now? Yeah. All right. Here we are in the office, got some samples. We're doing supplements fitness culture, been researching things, I would say for the last year and a half, almost two years, finally got a manufacturer that we really like. Have some, like I said, some samples here of goodies, different flavors. I'm always interested, like when it comes to BCAs, pre-workouts, I like the more fruit type flavors, but then with protein, I like the chocolate, vanilla, the more savory proteins. So I'm gonna try orange runts is the pre-workout I'm gonna have. And I'm also gonna get a pump product. We have two different formulas for orange runts. There's just the flavor profiling is different. We tried banana runt too, and I didn't like it. I'm just not a banana runt fan. Runts are the candies a lot of people had as kids. I'm a big fan of the orange flavored runts. So that's what I told them. Mixing a little bit of creatine in there as well. The initial flavor hits a little bit hard. Definitely tastes like runs though. To be honest, I'm still not a fan, but down the hatchet. Back to the drawing boards with this one. You know what, I'm gonna try the blue, no, I'm not gonna try the blue raspberry. I'm gonna try black cherry. I got a whole box here of goodies. Culture pre-workout, blue raspberry, airhead, cherry lime, shark bites. Ooh, I like the sound of that. As you guys can see, lots of sampling to be done here. We're actually gonna get all of the people that work here at Fitness Culture for the programming side and for the gym side, and we're gonna do like a taste test next week. So stay tuned for that. We're getting closer. Hopefully, we're gonna be launching sometime in the fall. Just don't quote me on that. We're now in the gym, closed gym, still closed for Corona. Gonna be doing handstand session. All of this has been done over on Morgan's channel. So if you guys feel like you want to learn how to handstand, she's pretty much taking me through all of her beginner stuff. I've just been doing a lot of exercising and my shoulder's been bothering me. So I haven't really done it in the last four days. I needed a little break. So today's my first day back. Go over to her channel if you guys A, wanna do handstands or B, wanna see me fall on my head. <laughs> really suck, this is my bad leg. Should I do bad leg first? Yeah. It's just a warm up for your kick up, so you just gotta get comfortable with it. Oh, that was really good. Yeah, it was. That was my best kick up on my bad really leg ever. Controlled. Your hands were a little bit too close to the wall that it was hard for you to get into a nice shape. <sighs> Bring your hands in closer, maybe they have to be this shoulder width. Bad, this is just a bad leg. Nice. Feet together. That's three. Coach, why you gotta kick up on my bad leg? Four feet together. Uh, what? They, they land like this. Like it's just a very 
but tell me, because there's going to be a lot of people who wonder why you got to kick it with your bad leg, too. Kicking it with your bad leg is just stop you from overdoing, overusing the muscles in your other leg. So you're going to have one massive glute if you only do one side. And you're going to get heaps and heaps of pain in one hip. So we need to make sure we even out the muscle use. You've done four. No, 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 those count. No, they both don't count. They have to go up and touch the wall. Five. <laughs> don't kick up with your bum. Well... Well, be first, remember drive. Fuck! Ah. That's it. Six. Uh, get there! Ah, I no, touch! That, that, I touch! That, 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 that's, I touch. Three more. Coach always makes me do kick ups with my bad leg. Yeah. You just, yeah, you're really heavy on that momentum part. Yep. <laughs> on my bad leg, I'm just trying to get through it, coach. Two more. Ugh. <sighs> First leg has to drive up all the way to the wall. Yeah. Oh, that was pretty, huh? Last one. <laughs> I literally was like right here and I felt my head jiggle on this pole because he hit the wall so hard. Kick ups up the with your opposite leg suck. I don't know why coach makes me do them. Just rolled back from the gym and it is cloudy now. St. George has got great weather typically, but I can't wait for it to be summertime. As of right now, I'm a little bit behind on my macros for the day. I'm getting this G2G bar. Now I've talked about this G2G bar before, my what 200 calories looks like. Pretty nutritionally dense. Um, 18 grams protein, 25 grams carbs, the 14 grams fat. At times if I'm cutting or when I do cut, these get cut back. So because I needed the calories, I haven't been eating really enough carbohydrates today. My fats are fine. Need to up my carbs. My next meal will have quite a bit of rice, which typically sometimes I get two protein shakes in a day right after. I didn't today. I just got some BCAs and then came home, played with Hobbs, smashed the protein bar. Next meal will be lean turkey, rice, some veggies, and then I'll have something before I go to bed. All right. Next meal of the day consists of ready rice, broccoli, and 99% fat free. So... 99 lean, 1% fat, all natural. Turkey breast with a little bit of avocado cooked on the pan. She just got done wiping Hobbs' bum. Oh, Bubba. Hi, YouTube loves you. So many people love you. Oh, it's- Stop! Babe, That's he's, my mouth. he's pretending you're YouTube and he's just showing the love back. Take it. No. <laughs> hey, bud, listen. If one more person says you're a pug though ever, I'm gonna freak out. A little bit of turkey mints, nothing special. So here's what we're working with. Obviously that's what I sprayed the pan with. Just salt and pepper, a little bit of Mrs. Dash. I let it cook on this side. We're gonna flip it. I think it's a little bit too hot. So one thing about quarantine, I will say, definitely getting back into the kitchen a lot more. It's just been great. Getting into the gym a lot more and then the kitchen a lot more. The gym because obviously I own it with Jake. It's closed, but we still go in there and train. Dinner time in the Cook household. We split up the rice. One serving size is 240 grams. Is this right? I'm getting a serving and a half basically. So 120 out of this one, which is going to be 44 grams of carbs. 120 plus 60 is 180. So that's what I'm shooting for is 180. Boom, that's a serving and a half. And then I'm coming over here, I'm zeroing out this scale, and I'm gonna go about six ounces of this. Oh, oh, yep, that's good. I actually had a little piece of it before. So there's that, and then throw a little bit of broccoli on there, and then the secret sauce. Morgan likes to use mayo, this Japanese mayo, and I'm like, I can't do that with my macros. With my macros? Yeah, I'm coming here, and I get me some of this here, uh, this aminos. here coconut aminos, and this here chili garlic sauce. How you feel? So bogan. Oh, that's bogan, or is that redneck? Oh, that's redneck. So Bogan's, American yeah, Bogan's are American. It's like American Bogan. Some of this Chile sauce here, from all the way, Chile. all the way from China, as Trump says, Wu Tan, the Chinese virus, COVID, which I do not condemn. That's or, a lot. I know. So I'm gonna put that back. <laughs> and that's gonna be a ton. That's gonna burn my bum hole. <laughs> it's gonna burn. It's gonna be like this. <sighs> Angry bum. Sorry. A little bit weird. Oh my goodness. I love that I can be weird with you. Mm -hmm. And weird with you guys too on YouTube. Okay, so there's that. You know, I feel like everyone's weird, just not everyone's willing to show it. Don't it's you true. Like that? Everyone's weird with their partners. So 
basically. I got about 62 grams of carbs here, plus the broccoli. It's about 67, 68 grams carbs. I got about 40 grams of protein. Oh, I forgot my avocado. That's my fat. I probably had to turn this bus around, huh? It's silly goose. We're gonna put in a little bit of avocado here. A quarter of avocado is usually between 28 and 30 grams. Exactly what I'm shooting for here. Here's 23. Leave some for me. I'm gonna save you a quarter. That's mine right there. 25 grams of avocado. That there avocado's from Mexico. And that right there is dinner. You just ate, you're constantly bulking. I can't handle it. <laughs> and we're heading outside because it's just a beautiful night. A beautiful night in quarantine. Da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Guys, help me out with this plant. I don't know if it needs to be inside or outside. I watered the leaves and found that was a big no-no, but help me keep this guy alive. If I can't keep him alive, how am I supposed to keep him alive? All right, you're a little bit easier to keep alive than a plant. Just cause. I didn't get enough at the gym. Today was a push day and we did the handstands. Did about a 30 minute workout, but it got a little bit sh cut short. So we're out here in the little workout room. Got double unders, 50 to 10 V-ups to 10 handstand release push-ups, 40, 10, 10, 30, 10, 10, and all the way down. We started that off with an 800 meter run. And we're gonna end that with an 800 meter run around the neighborhood. That'll kind of be my cardio for the day. And then also those are all push muscles. I'm kind of doing the full body split right now. Well, push pull legs and then some full body stuff because I do the home workouts that we also have going on with our 30-day challenge right now. So getting a little bit of everything and I'm loving it. I feel just a lot more overall healthy, getting into shape every single day I can feel it. So off for that run. It is 9.58, just got out of the shower. That's why my hair is combed. I usually don't go to bed with my hair combed. We're in bed eating popcorn. So that's the last thing I'm going to be entering into my calorie counter. We have one bag of healthy pop for us each. Well, this one's not that healthy, but it's delicious. And it's not the worst, but it's not the best, but it tastes really good. So we're going to watch some Netflix. We're going to quarantine and chill. And then I got to wake up early to go through my morning routine, which we're going to film also. So thank you guys for watching these videos. You can see my total daily macros right here. I'm a little bit under, but this is the first day of counting macros. So I'll kind of see what happens. I'll eat accordingly. If I start gaining weight, I'll obviously cut back. I think this is going to be more of a maintenance but I haven't really been counting macros. Counting macros is one of those things like you'll hit your goal faster. You'll hit it with more accuracy if you are more strict. Now it's up to you how strict you want to be. Being strict also I think comes with some problems. You know, it's not as fun. There's a lot more work, but you're going to get better results quicker. So that being said, with this whole caloric surplus that I've kind of been in, I would say the last, you know, two months and lifting more, it hasn't been tracked very well. It's been kind of me eyeballing things. So I'm going to try to eat maintenance for like a week and then slowly but surely start cutting and we'll kind of show you that process. Um, teaching Morgan how to count macros as well because she asked. Yeah. I wanna know. So anyhow, we'll show you guys what I do to slowly but surely get leaner and- uh, You're again, already so lean. I would get hydrostatic tested or I bod feel pod. Like this is, I feel like this is the background of your comp like competing, making you feel like you're not as lean as what you could be. Well, no, I wanna get to 7%. I'm, I know I'm not there. That's so. ridiculous. It's not. 7%. There's so many people out there that live at 7%. Mm -hmm. If I competed What are you going to do after you're at 7%? Are you going to maintain 7%? Try to maintain probably 8%. All right, guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. Total's there. Let me know if you have any questions on this. I'll try to answer them. Good night.